Celtic have turned down two bids for Christopher Aja, and fans are reacting in their droves. Depending on who you ask, Aja is either useless in both boxes, or a prodigious young talent. He's either a useless defender who needs to be a midfielder again, or a potentially excellent ball-playing centre-back. To say he divides opinion is underselling it, somewhat. However, what Celtic fans seem to agree on is that we need to get our worth for the Norwegian centre-back. Aja, who has expressed a desire to leave the club this summer, is said to be unhappy with his situation. However, there's plenty to suggest that one of the clubs, Norwich City, would be something of a step down for the international defender. As we've argued before, Celtic can't afford to get ripped off this summer. £10 million may sound alright at first glance, to some. However, only five months ago, we sold Jeremy Frimpong for more. You can imagine, if Aja was playing in a more fashionable league, he'd be valued at least twice of what he is now. His contract ending in 2022 does cut his price tag a little, but not so dramatically that Celtic should accept the first offer. And, indeed, they haven't. After all, if two clubs are bidding at the same price, surely the hoops can afford to risk a little, and demand more for a key asset. Of course, there's also a possibility he stays. Here is some of the reaction from Twitter. Rebel Rebel. Celtic shouldn't sell him for anything less than they think he's worth. I'm sure Aja has the self-belief to think he is worth more than £10 million. The Cynic Wolf. High stakes gain by Celtic here, with their demands well above £10 million. Clear that if clubs Aja would be interested in joining Lou's patience and walk away, he'll stay out his contract rather than join a late bidder he doesn't fancy. Aslo today Domikei confirms Gordon Strachan's status at Celtic FC. Incoming CEO Dominic confirmed that former manager Gordon Strachan wouldn't be returning as director of football. Speaking alongside Angie Postacogla at the duo's first press conference since joining the club, McKay was asked about the structure that was possibly going to be put in behind the scenes. While we still await clarification about whether a director of football will be involved, McKay bluntly stated that Strachan would not be involved in that role. When asked if Gordon Strachan will be returning, McKay answered, no. As I mentioned a moment ago, one of the things that any chief executive wants to do is look across the whole organization. Last week, the links of Gordon Strachan came about, but that has obviously been shut down by Dom now. It remains unanswered, though, whether we will see someone in that position anytime soon. The word that Dominic is keen to use is modernize. So, a move like this would surely suggest that the club is modernizing and move forward in the right direction, 